Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Henry again. Uh, back from a little bit of a hiatus here, um, but probably going to crank out, I don't know, three to five boxes over the next, uh, I don't know, probably a couple days, a couple weeks. Um, so keep, keep an eye out for those. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be a, a four-month uh, four gap, but today we'll be doing DC1. Uh, we got the box spun up already here. I believe this is an easy by author and community box. Let's see if we can get that piece of information here. Yeah, okay. So let's start off with our little generic nmap scan. You know how we like to do it around here. We're going to do a on all ports. Type that password in. And uh, we'll give that a second to run here. All right, let's see. While that's running, we can try to just check out the web page ourselves. Let's see if there's anything on 80. She's uh, kind of taking her time here. Um, so it means there's, there's, there's probably something, uh, but maybe, uh, maybe our nmap scan's causing it to freak out. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, there is something on 80. It just, for whatever reason, it's not responding right now. Um, let's take these ports and do a deep scan and we'll tack a dash A for some service enumeration. 37701. All right. Let's let that run. Um, okay, looks like there's a Drupal site here. Uh, so immediately whenever I see a Drupal site, uh, one of the most common, one of the, I guess, larger vulnerabilities with Drupal is uh, Drupal Geddon, at least on these like machines, like these boxes. Uh, so um, what's important for Drupal though is a version number would be great. Um, so I'm skimming to see if there's any version disclosure here. I'm not seeing anything here. Uh, we can start a um, we can start a uh, FF uh, directory bus here. Uh, so let me uh, open this up. We're gonna do user. Yeah, we'll use we'll use this. This is this is what we'd like to see. And then we will just swap out the IP here with hopefully it's on my clipboard. It is okay. All right, we're gonna start that off, uh, and looks like that is snailing away. So we'll let that do its thing. Uh, but we do see a HTTP romance.txt here um, with some disallows. I think this is pretty common for Drupal installations. Uh, so if you go over here and we go to, uh, let's just go to straight robots. Uh, yes. Yeah, so if these actually exist, this will be pretty good. I think, don't quote me, but I think this uh, crawl delay here, I think that's uh, I think that's why this is running so slow at 11 requests per second. Jesus. Um, yeah, so we're still hunting for, one, anything that's interesting, and then, two, uh, version information. So what we're going to do is let's start with, I guess, the license. Let's... Uh, Let's see, I could have sworn I just read license.txt. Am I losing it? Oh yeah, it's right here, right here. Okay. Here, we'll, uh, we'll copy that. Uh, copy, and we'll duplicate this tab, and we'll go to license. Okay, I think this is just the generic open source license. It is. Let's check out maybe install. Install could be good. We'll copy. And by the way, uh, on the uh, Drupal page, uh, we're doing uh, .txt php and html uh, php because drupal runs on php uh, so we're gonna let that continue to run i didn't mean to close this uh, let's go to install okay drupal requirements hopefully we get a version number uh, uh, i don't think so <laughs> i don't think it's here and then we can also check out uh, upgrade.txt here. So I close that tab again. Didn't mean to do that. Boom. Okay, so how to update your site from one minor version of 7.x to another minor version of 7.x. So from 7.8 to 7.9. Uh, my best guess, I'm not too familiar with Drupal, that this means that we're on Drupal 7 or at the very least, not on Drupal 8. So if we, uh, if we search spoil on Drupal here, looks like, uh, <laughs> looks like my command history is still there from when I did this box <laughs> the first time before I did the walkthrough. Um, 
We will see some Drupal Geddon uh, remote code execution. That's Drupal Geddon 3. Uh, that's minus version 7.58. Uh, there's some Metasploit modules here. Uh, Drupal Geddon 2, um, interestingly enough, is affects a larger version number. Um, and that's a Metasploit. And there's also a Python proof of concept here as well. Uh, but I never use Metasploit uh, on these boxes because when I was preparing for the OSCP, I, I always use the Python files because I always wanted to I always wanted to save that like in my in my back pocket just in case. Uh, so for the sake of this video, we're, we're going to use Metasploit because I never use it. And that's probably not a good habit to build, but um, we're going to search for Drupal here. And Drupal get in. I want, uh, let's see, forms, API property, remote code execution. Um, we're just going to use one. That looks like it matches the one that we were looking at earlier. Uh, we'll set L host to ton zero, L port to 443, because usually that gets through if there's an issue. Set R host to 192.168.51.193. That is our P host. Let's go our host. And... I think this should just be fine. So let's go ahead and run it. Maybe it'll check and see if it, uh, it'll do it. Yeah, it looks like there's a check built in here. All right, so the check couldn't figure it out. <laughs> okay. And it's it's hanging out. It's hanging out. It sent something. Okay, we supposedly have a session opened. Um, not really seeing the interpreter prompt come back yet. Sometimes it, I guess it takes a little, takes a little second. Um, so presumably we have a show. Um, as who, I guess we'll find out in a second or two. Okay. Let's get UID. Looks like we're WW data. Um, okay. So with that in mind, uh, I like operating out of a system shell, even if we have like a interpreter shell and over here, I'm going to run this small little command I have to improve the shell. So we're going to do which Python three oh, looks like my virtual box thing is getting in the way. That's kind of annoying. Um, I don't know how to hide this. We're just going to, this'll do. So which Python 3 didn't return anything? Do we have Python? We do have Python. Um, so we can do Python C import p2y, p2y.spawn, bin bash, boom. That's looking a little bit more handsome. We're going to grab this guy over here. Paste that guy in. Coo, coo, coo. We are going to hope for colors here. I don't think I can control Z um, because it's a interpreter prompt. So we're actually going to skip these bottom parts. Um, okay, so now it's uh, Privas time. Uh, let's uh, check out the home directories. And uh, I suppose we could check the web configs for, um, for uh, what you call it, for Drupal. Um, but I'm not sure it's going to matter. Uh, I don't know if this flag for is an actual user. It is an actual user. Okay. And, okay, just flag flags in there. Um, not sure where this box originally came from. Let's see, flag four. Oops, flag four .txt. Okay, it's, whatever. <laughs> okay, so we have a shell, and we're www. For giggles, let's check a sudo l. Okay, it says it can't find sudo. Uh, let's do a little uname a three point two on the Linux kernel version. So probably some kernel exploits out here for this. Um, but over here, we're going to run this little, uh, note command I have over here, uh, with just some things to check for Linux, uh, privilege escalation. Um, so we are going to look for suids and guids and eyeballing this, it looks like these are okay. Um, so far, um, maybe proc mail could be an issue. And I think find is a GTFO bin. Uh, and that's what we're going to check, I guess, while it finishes, since it's taking a little while. We uh, GTFO bin, uh, proc mail? No proc mail. Find? We do have find, and it is for suid. Um, so if we go here, suid, find does not drop the elevated privileges and be abused. Uh, okay. Let's uh, copy this, give it a try. And that was in user bin find, so we're just going to... I'm just going to head on over there. We're going to paste that in from GTFO bins, and maybe we get a little lucky? So there's a legal option dash P. Well, I actually know, I've already done the box, so I know why it's throwing a stinker. Um, 
And it would have helped the first time I did this box to actually like read the instructions. And it said, uh, if it's used to run uh, sh.p on systems like Debian, that's less than a stretch, uh, omit the dash p. Um, is this ever going to stop? Oh my god. <laughs> we're just going to... We're just we're just gonna kill that shell real quick. <laughs> I, I I don't know what happened there. Uh, here, hold on. Let's uh, uh, let's see. Let's go to cd user bin one more time. Uh, current directory user bin. Okay. If we paste everything and then get rid of that dash p forward slash colon dash quint, and now we id. Now we have an effective user ID as root because the suid bit was sent on uh, find. And yeah, if we just cd on over to root, you should be able to check what's going on here. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Nice and quick one, guys. Um, I would encourage anybody that's preparing for the uh, OSCP to try to replicate this, but without uh, using Metasploit, uh, if you're following along. Uh, there's a couple here. I think I think this one might work. This will probably work. It looks like these are the the two to the same. Um, so yeah, replicate that on your own for the OCP because you know you got limited limited uh, metasploit options. We're gonna kill this uh, scan here, and uh, yeah, I, I I think that's it. So I just just to re recap, we uh, enumerated the web service. We checked out that robots.txt and some of the files that we thought would have uh, I suppose information that could lead us to uh, finding out what Drupal version it was. Then we found out that, uh, at least we had a pretty good idea that it was Drupal 7. Um, so when we looked for uh, Drupal exploits with search point, and fortunately the Metasploit module we used did work, landed us a shell. Um, and then we did very basic uh, Linux privilege escalation. We uh, checked our kernel version, might be a kernel exploit here. Checked for sudo, we didn't find anything. We checked out home, and we did look for sewage. Uh, we didn't look for GUIDs because uh, I was able to identify find. Um, and then with the with the SUID, uh, we got root. So uh, nice and nice and easy quick one. And uh, like I said, there should be a, a little bit of a flurry. I'm going to go on a little bit of a spree here of uh, recording some boxes. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. And yeah, my name is Henry, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.